Hello, everyone. Welcome to ABC English. I'm your host, Mike, and we are here for part two of the Building Character Unit. It's all about learning by doing. Yes, learning new things is always a challenge, right? There are many ways that you can learn new things. I guess the the classic one is go to school, take a class, get a coach, hire a teacher, something like that. Then they can teach you things. They can share their knowledge, share their wisdom. Help you practice, maybe give you some tests and things like that, and that's a pretty easy way to do it. But of course, it often involves other people, and might involve paying for classes, finding the time to go to the school, or to take the classes with your teacher. So that can be a little challenging. Another thing you can do is teach yourself. Yeah, you can just try it out at home. If you want to learn how to do something, try doing it and learn from your mistakes and improve. But that can also take time, right? Because you will make mistakes. Maybe you don't know what you're doing at the at the beginning, so it can be frustrating, and you can feel like you're never really getting better. That kind of thing. But these days, we can watch things on the internet. We can watch YouTube videos. There are lots of resources online that we can use to to get lessons and classes. Either by paying for them, or in many cases for free. So that's another great thing that we can do to learn how to do things by doing those things. In other words, learning by doing. So let's check out part two of our article for today. With Dylan's help, Brandy learns to make some basic notes. She doesn't do well at first. However, she gets better with each practice. Okay. So as we can see, our title is learning by doing. Learning something just by trying it out. And doing it, and of course, this way of learning works better for some things than for some other things. There are definitely some things you do not want to learn by doing. Flying an airplane, for example, you do not want to learn how to fly an airplane just by getting in an airplane and saying, "Well, let's see how this goes," because <laughs> you know you could die.、Uh, being coming a doctor, you don't want to learn how to be a doctor by just. Trying to be a doctor—that, of course, is very dangerous. It could make a lot of people sick, and you will go to jail if you try that. So, those are things you definitely want to pay a teacher, go to a school, take a class. But on the other hand, music. All right, now here's something you can learn by doing, and that is exactly what Brandy is trying to do. I know about this. I learned how to play the bass guitar by just doing it. Taught myself, never took a class, and you know I'm not terrible at it. So there you go. You can definitely learn how to play a lot of musical instruments by just doing it. Sure, it's great to have a teacher and take a class. Definitely do that if you can. But if you can't, you can definitely pick up a guitar or sit down at a piano. Maybe get a book, watch a video, or get a friend to show you, like in our article. So it says, with Dylan's help, Brandy learns to make some basic. Notes. Well, good for her. That's where you start. You start with the basic stuff. Something basic is simple. When you went to your first English class and you, they taught you A, apple, B, bird, C, cat, that was a basic English class. You start with the basic stuff. You learn that, and then step by step, you will get better and better. But yeah, always start. With the basics, and in music, a basic thing to learn are the seven notes of a scale. A note is basically a special sound or tone that we use in music. And when you write a song, or sing a song, or play a song, you are singing all of those different notes. Put them together, and you have a song. Sometimes we give names to the notes A, B, C, up to G in the Western style, or you could hear I think use Do Re Mi Fa So La. Those types of things. Those are the notes. So she's playing individual notes on a guitar, like you would play individual notes on a piano or something like that. Some basic stuff, but that's a good place to begin. But 
like a lot of things, when you're new at it, you do have some failures. It doesn't always work well and go easy from the beginning. And as it says, she doesn't do well at first. Well, yeah, guitar can be tricky. You know, you got to play the note in the right way, and it can sound funny. You got to have strong hands and fingers. So all of that takes a little bit of time and practice, and that's what she does. However, she gets better with each. Practice. Okay, so this is probably spread out over a few days or a few weeks. Each time she goes to、uh, to Dylan's house, Brandy has a new practice, and each time she gets better with each practice. Each meaning one, everyone in this case, but it's one practice. But there's probably several of them. So in practice one, she was not so good. Practice two, a little bit better. Practice three, quite a bit better. Practice four. Wow, she felt very confident. So, with every one of those different practices, with each practice, she got better. And that's kind of, you know, how you have to do it. You can't expect to sit down at any musical instrument and play like a genius, play like someone who's been doing it for years when you've only been doing it for a few days, weeks, or even months. It takes more than that. But if you stick with it. And you give yourself a good coach, or at least take those lessons and practice every day. You will definitely, definitely be able to see some improvement and watch yourself get better and better. So we hope Brandy kick, sticks with it. But we'll find out what happens after our break. Before Brandy leaves, Dylan gives her his old guitar. He also tells her about some videos. She can watch and play along with them. That will help her improve. At home, Brandy does just that. She also finds new videos to watch and practices all the time. Now she can play some simple songs. Brandy learns more every day by doing. Okay, so we're back with Brandy as she is taking some very basic guitar classes from her friend Dylan. And actually, the guitar is one of those great instruments that you really can learn a lot on your own. And even having a friend who can play just kind of, sort of well, you know, they don't have to be an expert, but they can show you some of the basic things, and then off you can go. All the great guitar players. Didn't become great from taking lessons. They became great from playing music, listening to music, practicing. It was something they loved to do. So of course, that's how you got better. They learned by doing. All right. So let's see what's going on next. It says before Brandy leaves, Dylan gives her his old guitar. That was really nice of him. So this must be at the end of one of their practices. Maybe they meet once or twice a week and. At the end of this practice, he kind of said, "You know, you've been working really hard, and I don't really need this. You've been borrowing my guitar, so here, why don't you take my old guitar home? I have one or two or three others. Most guitar players have lots of guitars; they love them. But so he has this older one that he isn't using. He gives it to her, and then he also gives her something useful—an idea. He says he also tells her." About some videos, so these might be the types of things you can find on YouTube. Because nowadays, when we think of videos, a lot of people think, "Can I see it on YouTube?" Because that's what you see on YouTube. You watch videos of any kind: videos that teach you things, videos that make you laugh, videos of the news, videos of sports, even videos of music. But we went when we say video, we mean something you watch. So what we're talking about here is something you watch on television, on a computer. We wouldn't really use this for a movie. If you go to a movie theater, there you're watching a movie or a film. But you might watch videos on television, on a on a computer, on your phone, of course. And it's a short kind of movie, or it could be a little bit longer. But anyways, the idea is you're watching something. Your eyes are being very entertained as you enjoy this video. Back to the article, it says she, that means、um, Brandy, can watch and play along with them. Yeah, exactly. That's how she'll learn. Play by doing, but also learn by watching 
the videos. And when you get better at something, when you take lessons, you get advice from people with more experience, you practice at home and spend some time working on it, getting yourself, uh, getting your skills better, you will improve. As it says, that will help her improve. Watching the videos, playing along with them, practicing after, after all that, that will help her to improve. The verb improve means to get better. When you get better at something, you improve, right? So it could be your own skills by, by practicing, by going to the classes and doing your homework, you will improve. We can also talk about improving a thing. If you, you know, redecorate your bedroom, paint it, put in some new furniture, hang a beautiful picture, even pick up your dirty clothes or something, you will make your room better. You will improve your bedroom. So you can improve yourself, or you can improve other things around you, but in both cases, you're making them better, you're leveling up, you're taking them to a higher standard. So she will improve by practicing the guitar. And then we're back at home with Brandy. So it says, at home, Brandy does just that. She watches the videos, she practices, and she improves. So she does just that, exactly what they said before. And we also read, she also finds new videos to watch and practices all the time. Yeah, because maybe some of the videos that Dylan recommended were kind of basic videos, but now she's improved. She doesn't need those basic videos. She needs the sort of medium or middle intermediate videos. So she's got new videos to watch. Maybe she's interested in playing a certain type of music, so she watches, you know, videos that teach her those types of songs, but the other important thing that she does is she practices all the time. And when you practice something, basically you do it again and again and again as a way of improving, as a way of getting better. If you want to be good at something, you don't just try it once and say, yay, I'm the best in the world, what do we do now? No, you have to practice, you have to do it again and again and again. Maybe take some classes, but the practice that's the homework. That's the stuff that you do out of the classes. We can also use this as a noun. A practice is when you sit down or get together with other people, maybe on your team or in your music group or something like that, and you're like, right, let's do those songs we're going to do next weekend at our show. Let's pretend we're playing against that other basketball team that we're playing against next week. Let's learn new plays. Let's learn new songs. Let's get better and spend some time together or spend some time with yourself doing that activity, repeating things, learning things, taking your skills up. You do all this by practicing or by going to practices. Now, we say back in the article, now she can play some simple songs. Bravo Brandy! Very well done! So she can play some of these songs. They're not the most complicated songs as we read. They're simple songs and it says Brandy learns more every day by doing. Yeah, you can definitely practice every day, rehearse, do things over and over, improve. You will learn more every day by doing. And sure, start off with something simple. This word simple is an adjective and it's kind of like the word basic that we saw at the very beginning of the article. Something basic, something simple, it's not complicated, it's easy to learn, it's at a lower level and as you get better you won't need to learn this simple stuff, you know it already. But again, in English if you're learning your ABCs and I am, he, she, that kind of thing, um, then you're learning simple English, really basic stuff that everyone needs to learn before you begin to improve. So there you go guys, keep working at whatever you love doing, practice, rehearse, take some classes, watch some videos, but mainly remember, have fun doing it, put in the time, and you will get better. That is guaranteed. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you back here very soon for more fun and fascinating articles. Until then, I am Mike, you are you, and we will see you guys soon. Bye-bye. With Dylan's help, Brandy learns to make some basic notes. She doesn't do well at first. However, she gets better with each practice. Before Brandy leaves, Dylan gives her his old guitar. He also tells her about some videos. 
she can watch and play along with them. That will help her improve. At home, Brandy does just that. She also finds new videos to watch and practices all the time. Now she can play some simple songs. Brandy learns more every day by doing. Which note did you just play? 你刚刚弹的是哪一个音? 那第二个呢是形容词each, 每一个的 它的基本规则呢就是后面要接单数名词 像是each month our group talks about a new book 每一个月我们的小组都会谈论一本新书 那第三个呢是可以作为名词也可以作为动词的 practice, 练习训练的意思 那我们大家一定都听过接下来的一句话 Practice makes perfect, 也就是熟能生巧。那如果作为动词的时候呢,你可以这样造句. You should practice playing the piano every day. 你应该每天练习弹钢琴。那第四个呢, video, 名词,影片的意思。例如, I can't play the video, 我无法播放那部影片。接下来我们要一起看三个文法。第一个呢是 with one's help, 因为某人的协助。with呢是介系词因为犹豫的意思像是 With the yoga instructor's help, I learned to do each pose correctly 因为瑜伽教练的帮助,我正确地学习每个姿势课文中同一段的最后又出现了 With each practice 这时候这里的 with是指随着借由 和刚刚提到表明原因的 with是不同的哦 像是 Tiffany grows wiser with time Tiffany随着时间越来越有智慧 那第二个我们要一起看的呢是动词加along with 跟着做某件事 Alone是副词 Along with呢本身就有一起的意思 如果前面放的是动词就表示一起做的动作 像是 I ran along with others in the marathon 我跟着大家一起跑马拉松 那最后一个片语呢是 all the time 一直总是 它是副词片语 The couple fought over the same thing all the time 这对情侣一直在为同一件事情吵架 Hey everybody, I'm Holly And I'm Carson So Carson, do you know anything about Taiwan's prehistory, their people, the way they lived, or the stuff they used? No, I don't, and that's why I'm here today at B1, where the Prehistory of Taiwan Gallery is located. Are you as curious as we are about Taiwan's prehistory? And if you are, let's go inside and find out. To let visitors understand prehistoric people's daily life, there are many sculptures of people showing the way they fished, hunted, and farmed. With these sculptures, we can easily understand how they lived long ago. Besides sculptures, there are many artifacts. Here, you will see a lot of pottery and objects made of stone, jade, and iron. You can clearly see the pattern on those small artifacts, although these artifacts are from long ago. Their designs are amazing. Over here is the scientific archaeology area. In this area, you can learn how archaeologists studied those cultures and artifacts. If you are interested in Taiwan's prehistory, you should definitely come and visit. I learned so much. Until next time, bye. See you next time.